This is the moisture sensor with LEDs demo. It has three boards total. The first one right here is the main board, which is the microcontroller. It has a, it's the MSP432. Below it, this is the Sidekick booster pack, which enables us to use the breadboard much easier. And on top is the Grove starter kit, which allows us to connect the temperature, the I'm sorry, the moisture sensor with the four-digit display. So what this example will do is it'll sense any type of moisture, and as it senses more moisture, the amount of LEDs will go up. So if it senses, for example, the, if the threshold is set to 600, if it senses 600, then all 10 LEDs will, will light up. But if it senses 400, only four LEDs will light up. So even if, if I touch this, there is some moisture in my finger, and this threshold is around 67, which is why when I hold this, you can see the it's at around 94, so this one will light up. This LED, The second LED right here will light up. So now let's try to put it in some water and see how this entire thing goes out with the LEDs. So I will slowly put it inside here. And it just jumps up because it is at 0.2 seconds delay. So if I were to just put it straight in, all LEDs would just go in. But if, as I slowly take it out, it will slowly dim down. And as you can see with the four digit display, it goes all the way to around 620 when I put the entire moisture sensor in water. And essentially this temperature sensor can be used, I'm sorry, this moisture sensor can be used as a touch sensor as well because I was using it to turn this LED on. And it could also be used to display whether your uh, plant or anything needs water or anything like that.